finally arrived at the Murray River. Well, almost anyways. Just a little bit more to walk through. Oh, I forgot to bring some snowshoes here. And the uh, snow near the highway for about the first kilometer was all oh, about knee deep. So I didn't even make it here all the way on my first go. About, they say it's about 30 kilometers to this point. The plan was to hike in and camp for a couple nights, just like down in the summer. But with the snow sometimes up to waist deep, trying to lug in all my gear, I made it about two, two me, two hundred meters. Oh, there goes an eagle. Some kind of big bird. See that guy here, summer. Oh, I camped the night. Sleeping bag got a little bit wet. It was alright, I survived. Ate some oatmeal this morning. And then decided to just go hike light and no gear. Just a couple of muscles. And it took me a while to hit the first kilometer marking. I don't know, I didn't bring a watch maybe an hour or two, maybe another hour to hit the second kilometer marking. And then I finally made it. Flying over the Murray River. So the summer, Emma and I hiked all the way down there. It took her on a bit of adventure. Down the steep cliff, through the woods, through, I don't know, some kind of game trail. Finally all the way out to this windy river and out to the Murray. And we hiked back up the River Canyon. And somehow came up this steep slide. I don't know how we did that, but we survived. Not gonna do that today. Three clicks through the snow is enough. I haven't been here all winter, so I don't know if the river completely froze over or not. Probably did. It's already mid-April. But we decided to have a snowstorm again. But we got long daylight hours, more than 12 hours of daylight. Some uh, decent daylight to do some good camping now. Midwinter is pretty dark. Over there. Peter wants to like that. Well, be back here later in the summer when it finally thaws.